Tom Brennan, Advantage Inspection Services. Cool. And we're doing the, uh, the out brief of the inspection at 19700 North 76th Street, Unit 2073 in Scottsdale. Right on. Okay, we're just going to go over the summary. We do want the whole report read. There are other comments in the main report that won't show up in the summary. Some of those comments are up in the attic, there's no firewall. Okay, the unit is sprinklered. I don't know, I have no idea what Scottsdale, uh, whether they have a variance on that or not. But normally, when you have a uh, units next to each other, there should be a firewall in the attic separating each unit. So if one unit catches fire, it doesn't breathe into the next unit. But again, I don't know what Scottsdale has. I've inspected properties in here before, and they're all like that. So I'm okay. assuming Scottsdale has a variance on it or whatever, but I put an informational write-up in there about that. Okay. Okay. Uh, another item would be the toilet uh, shutoff valve. It's got a little bit of corrosion on it. That's in the May report, so we're okay. going to monitor that. It is up on an upper level. So, Okay. Okay, again, at this, we'll go over to summary. The site, uh, handrails were loose at the steps. That's coming up into the unit. Okay. okay that probably is the HOA's responsibility. But mm -hmm. uh, Attic and roof. You have three types of roof here. you got a concrete roof. you got a roll roof where the units are, or the air conditioning units are placed, and that's right over the garage. Okay. And then part of that area, you have a composition shingle roof where you have a transition area up to get up to the air conditioning units. Okay. Okay, so... Uh, as far as a roll roof, uh, you can need a little maintenance on that thing. There's uh, cracking and gouges in it, and that's usually from maintenance guys being up there dragging their tools across working on those air conditioners. So, okay. uh, and they've got some granulation loss on that roll roof, which is just showing its age. Right. So. Uh, the garage door opener button is mounted too low for child safety. It shouldn't be mounted any lower than five feet. Okay. Uh, whether you whether they fix that or not, that's up to them. I just pointing it out for them. So. Okay. Uh, plumbing, the gas is off at the main, so yeah, so I can't, the only thing that's gas in here is the water heater. Okay. You have a heat pump, not a gas room, Okay. so, so I can't check the, the water heater. Okay. Uh, uh, the gas is off, as far as the water heater, the gas is off, therefore, the water supply to the fixtures was not confirmed. We recommend a check of proper hot and cold water supply to the fixtures once the water is operating. Okay. Now, the gas company will come out and they'll fire up the water heater and they'll start it up, but they're not going to go to each faucet and check to make sure you have hot and cold right. plumb correctly. So gotcha. you could probably do that in your final walkthrough. Sure. You got you got two sinks, you know, or three sinks, a kitchen, two bathrooms, and the tubs. And that's not a whole lot. It, yeah. Uh, Insulation is damaged at refrigeration lines, the cooling system, and that's up on that roof above the uh, garage. Just some of that foam uh, insulation is missing, and the sun sure. does that. So. Uh, the filters are dirty in the return air, so we want to get those changed. Uh, electrical, loose outlets noted in the master bedroom, and I put tape on every one of them. So you just pop the cover plate, tighten the outlet up in the box, and you should okay. be good to go. Uh, ceiling fans wobble the office and the master bedroom. Okay. Or mas yeah, the office and the master bedroom, those fans wobble a little bit. Uh, interior, exterior doors, hardware services needed, the balcony slider, the rollers, they need to be probably replaced there kind of it's kind of, it's kind of rough to open that door okay okay so I mean it does open uh, exterior door screens are damaged that patio slider screens got some holes in it okay uh, the walls and ceilings have typical damage cracks nail pops dings dents there is some wallpaper peeling that may be associated with moisture intrusion from the window being left open and that's in this dining room area right here let's see that wallpaper oh yeah peeling yeah I put my moisture meter. Actually, there I think they're going to they're going to take this off as far as yeah, the well, stuff goes. Yeah, that's good. So they can look at that. And I bang that wall, and it's solid. So, but it does look like a window was left open. Yeah, probably. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All righty. Uh, fireplace, the gas is off again, so, well, excuse me, you do have the gas fireplace, so there's another item. Uh, so the gas is off the fireplace, so that we couldn't check that, so you, the fire, or the fire department, the gas company will operate that fireplace if they okay. have access to the unit. Okay. Again, they're going to have access, they're going to have to have access to the unit in order to turn the gas on. Yep. Uh, kitchen, the bridge element did not appear to operate. On the range. Oh, okay. That connects bridge, the two. Yeah, it uh -huh. doesn't want to come on. And I even turned it on and put my hand there, and it still wasn't getting hot. The front and back work, just yes, not the bridge. But not the bridge. Okay. 
Uh, the bathroom sink stoppers need to be adjusted to work properly and recommend uh, routine caulking and stuff at the showers and bath. Okay. And that's it. Pretty clean. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pretty clean. I am and this add is still one thing, though. Pages. Go ahead. The carbon oxide. We want to get a carbon oxide detector in here. Okay. You got a gas fireplace in the unit. Okay, and there isn't okay. one. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's pretty common.